we begin with a creation chant called Kumulipo. Mankind is one with all of creation. Such is Hawaiian thought from the beginning of time. That humanity is linked to the stars of the heavens, to the gods of the spirit world, to the creatures of the sea. to the creatures of the land, to the birds of the sky, the lineage is thus, we are Hawaiian, we are Kanaka Maoli connected to all creation and all time. From Papa, Mother Earth, and Wakea, Father Sky, emerges the living worlds of both nature and humanity. In a many-layered legend, it is said that Wakir's first child is stillborn. The infant body is buried, and from his earthen grave sprouts Kalo, Hawaii's primary food. Kalo represents nature, and as the firstborn, he is the elder brother of mankind. For Papa's next child is man. As the eldest, nature feeds and nurtures man, sustaining humanity lifetime after lifetime. This is Hawaii. Thousands of miles from the nearest land, one of the most isolated places on Earth. When the volcanoes exploded from the ocean floor to burst their peaks above sea level, there was nothing on their mountaintops except basaltic lava. Not a seed, not an insect, nor blade of green. It was all rock. And it took millions of years to populate these islands. Plants and animals all had to arrive from afar. They floated on water, they wafted on air currents. They blew in with storms. And then an even more interesting thing happened once here. They changed. They evolved and became their own unique species. A living laboratory of adaptation, Hawaii's remoteness inspiring new endemic species found only in these islands. But when the outside world swept into paradise, Nature had few defenses, and by late 20th century, Hawaii became the endangered species capital of the world. Its endemic creatures and indigenous people began to disappear. People who were stewards of these islands, skilled at adaptation, having evolved out of this magical aina, one of the most sophisticated societies in Polynesia, whose ancestors explored the entire Pacific centuries before Europeans ventured into the Atlantic Ocean. On land, they were the best farmers in this hemisphere. Their clothing, the finest bark cloth made in ancient times. Their knowledge of herbal medicine was unsurpassed. 
Their language and oral history telling require memorization skills that challenge the abilities of the most well-developed minds. They had a timeless sense of themselves being linked to present, past, and future as one continuum. The human body, they thought, represented this continuum in three body points or pico. Symbolically, the navel was the pico, connecting a person to the present generation, to parents and family. Literally, the navel's umbilical cord connected mother and child. The genitalia was the pico that linked to future generations. Every child was embraced by the ohana, the Hawaiian family system. The fontanelle on the top of the head linked to the past to one's Aumakua ancestors. Herbs were placed on a baby's fontanelle to keep it open and soft for as long as possible, sometimes for nearly two years. Keeping a child connected through the top of the head to the spirit world. Children were honored. Child abuse was rare. Hawaiian thought was profound and metaphysical, intuitive. Comprehension of the world was and still is different from the ways of the West. <laughs>